In this video, we're going to be using OpenAI's GPT-3 in order to generate fairly convincing emails in order for like a business person to use. So as you can see, I made like a front end here using Streamlit. It's fairly, fairly simple. But before I demo it, I want to show you what GPT-3 is first. So if you haven't heard of it, GPT-3 is the state is the state is the state of the art language model. It's built using a transformer, which has been around for a while, but it's been trained on lots and lots more data. It has over 175 billion parameters and I think is like 17 times more powerful than GPT-2. And the reason is because they just found a way to give, give more data and optimize it better. And they pretty much just gave it the internet in text form. They fed it into this, into this language processing giant neural network. And it can do all these kinds of things right here. So as you can see, I have access to the, to the private beta, which I only have access to for about a month. So you might see more videos uh, using any of these other features in like an app or something, another app or something like that. But as you can see, it can do a lot from classification to generating text. We're going to be using generating in this video. But it can also do translation, transformation. It can also write like SQL queries, JavaScript code, and React elements. So it can do a lot of things. It can do summarization and go through text. It can chat in a way that in a way that makes it sound like you're talking to another person. It can also work with spreadsheets and all kinds of things. And so this is an example of one of the chat features. It's pretty much just an open-ended way for it to communicate. Uh, I'm going to be using the DaVinci engine. It's the most powerful of the four engines it offers. And DaVinci is also used for our web app as well. So we can just say who you work for. And we can actually show the probabilities as it um, replies. So I work for Arbent. Uh, let's ask it if it can feel. It would be inappropriate to comment at this time. Ooh. So maybe it is on, as a prisoner in the OpenAI labs. That is an interesting question. I have no knowledge of my surroundings other than my interactions with humans. I have no memory of my creation. Now that I've showed you GPT-3, let's actually demo this app real quickly. It's, it's a fairly simple app. You can read about it here. Uh, but here where you generate the email. So Im imagine yourself as like, business person you want to write an email to a client let's say write me an email to a client and you don't have to cite stick you don't have to start with write me i'm just doing that or you can say just write an email write a professional professional sounding email to a high stakes client and right you gotta write the first several or few words of the email so you could say um just, I'm going to start with dear. I mean, it's probably just going to insert like some filler name that we can change, but you can also ask how many characters you want it to be. So you, email is usually between 100 and 500, so I'm just going to pick like 195. Press the generate button. You got to wait a couple, wait a couple seconds. All right, so here's what it generated. It generated dear blank, so we can fill in the blank. Subject from techsecure.org, first name, last name, company title, okay. Dear Mrs. Blank, you've probably never heard of us and that's fine. We are a small startup group with huge goal to help you communicate freely. We do this by making it easy for users to encrypt and sign their emails. Unfortunately, sending the right emails at the time at the right time is hard. You could stop using Gmail together or you can account many large services like Google. Uh, Google and Yahoo are kind of Gmail and Yahoo.com, but whatever. In order to send encrypted images, okay, messages, but the options come with risk, we develop a text secure. So this right here is probably going to be the useful part. The rest of it is kind of just formatting. Like as as you can see, the language model is not perfect. It's it's far from being able to replace writers and coders, but it's a really cool thing. So we can send our email right here, so you can preview it again, just here, and you can click that, and what it'll do is it'll actually use the hyperlink, like the hyperlink itself to create, to set up an email for you. So you, you just have to go and say, dear, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know, dear my, dear our client, or something like that. 
Uh, I'm actually going to probably remove some of this. But as you can see here, the bulk, the important part of the email has been written for us, has been automatically written for us, so all that heavy lifting is off our shoulders. So we can do client at gmail.com, the subject, and Manapta makes encryption accessible. We just do that, and we can just say thanks, our, our startup. And you can actually send it, and it'll go through. Let's, let's, or let's say you're trying to send an email to someone you haven't talked to in a long time. So let's ask this, let's ask this model to say, generate an, e an email, email to someone I haven't talked to in a while. And then we can just say, hey, and then we can just say, hey friend, we'll, we'll change the friend to an actual name, hey friend, I wanted to reach out. And let's make it, let's make it like 250 characters. And so we'll generate this. Hey friend, I was thinking to reach out and see how you're doing. I was thinking, well, catch up, hope is all well, Jesse, okay. Uh, call someone to meet me call. Hey, okay, so you got the Jesse thing again, gone on a walk, and listen to music makes me happy. All right, whatever. So we can just go down here and click send the email, and yeah, we can hope all is well. So we can probably do this right here. But think about like how much mental energy this saves off of you, like writing an email to like someone important or someone who you don't want to like mess up with. Yes, you can use Grammarly to fix your mistakes, but imagine just not having to spend any energy writing the email at all. You just have to type in your subject. So you can say to friend at gmail.com. Yeah, to friend at gmail.com. And we can actually send this. That's pretty much it for this demonstration. If you want me to make more more like applied style apps using any of these or any of these other parts of uh, GPT-3, then let me know in the description below. I only have about a month's left access to it, so I might make a few more videos before you comment, before you see this video, but yeah. I'll see you in the next video.